Jim Flaherty wakes up this morning, he's probably going to be pretty happy. Uh, the four big papers that I kind of read every morning to take the temperature of what people are saying, Toronto Star, the Golden Mail, the National Post, the Ottawa Citizen, uh, they're all saying good things. Uh, first of all, their news coverage covers everything that Flaherty probably wanted them to in a fairly positive light, uh, critical as they would be and, and talking to critics, but, but all the big headlines are happy headlines. Uh, as far as the editorials are concerned, uh, there's a lot of cautious optimism. I think that's probably the best way to put it, which isn't exactly exciting, but it's probably something that the finance minister is happy to see, probably expected given the budget he released. Uh, and, uh, and, and if you can wake up one day and have the National Post saying pretty good things and the Toronto Star saying pretty good things, uh, as cautious or as optimistic as they might be on either end of that scale, uh, again, it's probably a pretty good morning. And, uh, and all the readers that see those stories obviously uh, will, will be influenced by those and, and, and they'll be influenced by, by fairly, if, if middling, kind of cautiously, optimistically happy uh, editorialists. So uh, the Toronto Star says that, that the, the government's really betting on a lot of things happening, the economy continuing to, or at least starting to grow a little, uh, a little more robustly than it has been. And, and if that doesn't work, then, then they're, pretty, uh, they're pretty concerned, which is fair. Uh, the National Post says this isn't exactly a budget that a, a fiscal hawk would, uh, uh, that the, which would play pretty pro prominently among their readership, would, would love, but there's still some move to restrict spending and, and, uh, and move back to a, a balanced budget. So uh, again, those, those two competing newspapers are, uh, are saying pretty good things. So when Jim Flaherty wakes up, he'll be happy when he goes to sleep probably still, you know, be pretty happy.